All right, guys, I wanted to show you this because I couldn't find anything on it, and this little plastic thing here was a pain. It's really stupid and easy, but it was a pain. So, um, first things first, the only thing I did was, I, I don't, I mean, if you don't want creases in your carpet, you'll have to take more tabs out, but um, you have your, your four bolts there, then your plastic piece here, which is right here, pops off. All right, and then you got, you have a clip there, and you got a clip right there. And then, you got your door panel here, but you don't even have to take that off, but I did just hold the negative terminal battery, and the whole carpet could just fold down. Take your negative terminal off, and then comes this thing right here that is sitting over top of the battery and clipped on. Um, first thing first is there's, um, a nut on top here that you probably don't have to remove, but I did, um, just because I was trying to figure it out. And then your positive terminals held on. Loosen that, I made the mistake of not loosening it, and it's connected to this. And then it's pretty simple after that. There is a, I'm going to get back here so you can see it. No, you can't. I'll pull it out so you can see it. There is a finger clip right here that you have to pull up on. And then it just kind of comes off. So as you can see, you got a clip right here, and that holds the whole thing on, and what a pain in the butt it was. And then it just pulls off, and then you have your bolt there, your bolt there, your bracket comes off, pull your battery out, put your new battery in, and reverse the process. Hope that, help, hope that helps some people out. Sorry, I know it's not the best video. Real quick. Okay, I want to add one more thing to it. There's a valve plugged into the side over here like this just pull it out it comes right out and then that'll go in your your new battery on the negative terminal side you should have one I do right there all right I just wanted to add that in all right guys tip number three see the vent on the stock battery so in a trunk you want a vented battery so I made sure I got a battery that had the vents on it but, my wonderful battery, the vent, uh, yeah, crappy lighting now, the vent is right where that bracket goes. So I had to bend the bracket up and then I'm going to push it back down. I don't think it's going to harm anything because you lock it there, you lock it there, and then back there there is like a little lip the battery sits on. You can't see it, but there's a lip, so the battery's... The battery's not moving, um, so just uh, when you do get a new battery, make it easy on yourself. Um, get one that the vent is in the same location as the OEM battery, which is more towards the front. My vent is like back here, and this is where the bracket sits, so hope that helps.